And his notes were incredible. Incredible. This, this is just one of them. Yes, look nice. Second one, team looked confused twice. Uh, nice lick. Oh, you betcha. Uh, so, yeah. So it sounds like you have some quality scouting support there, drivers. That's good. But, but, I, but I do need to talk with my team. I got a point. Okay. Well, once you go over there and talk with your team, you are now on the clock. Right, we're done. Uh, okay, team, good. You're now on the clock. There's no sense in bullshit. You don't need to start that clock. Scooter, get your ass It's a good team, right? It's a good start, dog. It is. Let's go. Come on, man. 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 Come on, all right, guys, what a wild weekend we've had so far. Starting from the team draw to draft, first time ever in PK. Um, had a draft, end up on Mike Morello's team. You know, going to this thing, I had no idea where I was going. Had, you know, four or five captains say they was going to pick me first. So I'm sitting there looking at all these captains. No idea where I'm going, but I end up with my good buddy, Mike Morello. So we got Mike Morello, Brandon James. Birdman and Randy Roberts. So we got two Pro Charger cars, a uh, screw, and two turbo cars. So we'll see how it goes. With Birdman, he's struggling a little bit. Man, we liable to end up swapping him over to Pro Charger. We're gonna do what we gotta do to get Birdman back to winning like he used to. Birdman is a awesome driver, but his car, sorry Birdman, has sucked for a while. And uh, it's time to get him back on the winning side of things. But um, a lot of people made a bunch of test passes today. But over the winter, we put in a pile of work. And we didn't think we needed all those test passes. We're trying not to beat the equipment up a lot. Um, the sun was out, and I didn't think we could go as fast as what I'm going to go. So I didn't take the first test pass. We set out the first test session. <laughs> second test session I put in the meanest tune-up that I could find and that's what we went with and it went down and we got up on the center line and I'd already told everybody I was only going 330 feet uh, just to make sure um, the car left the starting line. The starting line is a little stickier than what we're used to so I wanted to go 330 feet. I was running my buddy Kai Kelly, ex-teammate and I tell you it was super hard to make myself lift because uh, I was out front a good bit and uh, I didn't want to lift. Me and him has had a rival before Street Outlaws even was a thing. Back at Hope City Dragway, uh, we were killing it back then, just grudge racing. Me and him laughing, having a good time, and uh, here we are still doing it again, just on a bigger platform.
Radical yeah. Speed. So like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Going into our first lap, um, Mike Marillo made a good pass, but he took a loss. Brandon James took out none other than, I'm saying he brags a lot, uh, Justin Swanstrom. He come in saying they had the best team, and they might, but you know, sometimes when you brag, it, it bites you a little bit. So, Brandon James taking out Justin Swanstrom. Uh, I picked up a win against Manny Alvarez. He made a, a good pass, uh, Manny's been getting faster and faster and we didn't know what to expect out of him but we made a really really good lick and we're moving on so took the sweat and the worry and we didn't know what was going to happen for us making it into the invitational but the good thing is we're in all that that pressure is off i should say so good news is we're into the main event on saturday and we'll see what happens next